have I been in business? We've been in business now since uh, June of 2012, so seven years now. Things have been pretty good. You know, we've kept excelling upwards and having no real issues. It gets harder all the time, but it's also a lot more fun all the time. How did meat get started? Uh, basically, me being a person who likes food, obviously you can tell if you can see me in a full shot, um, <clears throat> and likes beer. You know, when uh, we opened this place up at the time, Lansing didn't have a lot of barbecue joints. In general, Lansing had some good places to eat, but it was all kind of the same thing over and over again. And I would say in the last 10 years, we've really established a food scene around there, or what we call a food scene anyways, and I like to think it's a good food scene. So when I started doing meat and a barbecue, which is something I did in my backyard for fun, just on weekends to relax and things like that, like 90% of every other guy who's ever bought a smoker or a grill. Um, different which was, was, one day I just decided, I think it's good, I'm gonna try to see if it else thinks it's good, and we just kind of put it out there, and that's how, where it kind of came from. As far as expansion and me expanding the operations, I'm not real interested in doing any franchising or getting a second location. Honestly, it's hard enough to do one thing and do it well rather than sitting there trying to worry about doing a bunch of things and doing it well. And I think the worst mistake a lot of small business owners make is that they overextend themselves and they eventually make what they have so much pride in doing worse because they aren't able to concentrate on what they're doing anymore because they're trying to concentrate on just running all these different businesses. And I don't think the two work out very well. The toughest hurdle that I think that you have to overcome to be successful in business, uh, typically it's yourself. You know, you have to have a lot of perseverance. You have to be able to put up with a lot of things that you never thought you'd have to put up with as far as, you know, uh, there's a lot of tough things about opening a business that, you know, it doesn't matter what you learn in school, what you can learn reading books, what you learn on TV. Every experience is, is unique to the individual and how they do it. But the problem is most people their own selves is what gets in the way of their own success and how their business is going to be run because you know human beings were inherently stubborn people um, we're as hard as we like to work and the things that we like to do if you're not ready to sit there and get up every day put your pants on and go out that door and make the best out of every last moment that you have you're never going to succeed in anything Biggest benefit of owning your own business versus working for somebody else nine to five, honestly, is that pass or fail, it's all on your shoulders to do it. So at the end of the day, the only person you can blame is yourself. You can't blame anybody else, doesn't matter what happens. Every bad experience is something you learn from. And from learning from those experiences, if you keep learning from those experiences, you'll always do better and better. Not everything's always gonna be successful. And if you go into something thinking you're always gonna be successful and never plan for failure, you're just going to fail harder. I chose Lansing, Michigan because it's my hometown. Grew up here, was raised here. Um, I have a lot of opportunities to go to places like Detroit and Grand Rapids. Obviously, they're bigger cities. Uh, there's more going on, more people, more opportunities. But if you can't do what you want to do for a living well where you were raised, then you're not going to be able to do what you want to do for a living well in any place else that, you are, that you're going to go to. Because it's still inside you to get it done. It's not anybody else that can do it for you. It's not the location, it's the person. Is money a good motivator for starting your own business? No. Um, fact of the matter is, the busier you get, the less money you have. Even though it seems like you have a lot of money, the, the, the busier you get and the more success you get, the more you have to keep reinvesting that money back into your success so you can stay successful and keep going. And if you're not willing to do that and you're just trying to put that all in your pocket, again, you're just going to keep failing because you're not you know, willing to really work for nothing. If you're not willing to work for nothing, then the business just isn't going to work. Is my hero or mentor? Somebody I look up to. I don't specifically have any mentors or heroes per se. 
outside of uh, you know the people I know, the experiences I've had with some of the people I know, you know, like my parents, family, friends. Uh, the biggest person is I'd say is a mentor and my hero would probably be my wife Lynette, um, because without her, none of this probably would have happened. Because it was her encouragement and her belief in me being able to go out and do this. And you know, I had a really good job before I started doing this made a comfortable living, had a good life, and I was willing to just throw that all away. And if it wasn't for her being willing to help throw that away too, to start this and try something new, it would have never happened. So I really owe a lot of the success to her. Hi, I'm Andre Worthy, and I'm here at Meats Barbecue, home of the delicious Southern Barbecue. I'm sitting here right now with the business owners, Sean and Lynette. Um, Sean and Lynette, thank you so much for having us. Uh, Thanks for coming out. Thank you, thank you. How's things going? Pretty good. Great. It's great. been a great day. I mean, it's been a great month. It's been a great year. It's just, it's all good. Awesome. I love yeah. that. I love that. Let me just tell you both. I mean, you seem to have a delicious, I mean, mouth-watering menu here. And I can only imagine, I mean, all the options that you have. I would love to go behind the scenes to take a, um, just to see where all the magic happens. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Well, that was fantastic. I mean, thank you so much for the tour. No problem. And, absolutely. And thank you, Lynette and Sean, for having us here. If you have not had an opportunity to come down to Meats, I highly recommend it. The food is immaculate. Once again, thank you both for having us here. No, thank and, you. And that, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. And that concludes, once again, the face behind the business. <laughs>